we're going to talk about potable water expansion tank. The potable water expansion tank are normally the color is beige to make it different from the uh, from the uh, heating tank, which is uh, which in probably Califax is gray. Um, our tank uh, is uh, produced with a bladder type tank. Uh, again, the water goes inside the tank. Uh, the, so the water, the potable water in this case, goes through the stainless steel connection over here into a bag inside and the bag will uh, prevent the water from touching the steel um, and prevent rust into the water or rust on the, on the expansion tank. They are available uh, for gallonage between uh, 2 gallons to 74 gallon. Uh, model uh, HGTEV30 to 200 uh, are the largest one on a base and the smaller one, the HGTE5 to HGTE25 are coming with a fixed connection like this. The bladder are approved by uh, CSA for NSF61 for potable water use, uh, so there is no uh, issue with that. We have a valve over here with, made of no lead brass. Uh, I want to talk to you about that service valve. It's really important to have a service valve. I've seen too many times installation where there is nothing to do service. What I mean by service is when you screw this valve on the tank, you have uh, different, uh, you have uh, a gauge over here. This gauge will read the pressure in the house, so the pressure of your house. The valve over here will be here to, uh, to, uh, to service the, 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 the tank and this port over here is a drainage port. So when I want to test the tank to make sure that I do have the right pressure or if I want to change the, uh, the tank, what I do is I close, I open up this, this uh, the, 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 the outlet port. I can use a garden hose to drain my, the liquid in my tank. I will turn the valve 90 degree. By turning this 90 degree, I, I isolate my tank from the system. Now I'm able, all the liquid which is in the tank will go out through that outlet and I will be able to read the pressure of my tank through that, uh, that little port down here and able to see what is the pressure in the house. The reason why it's so important, like it's important in the heating system, on potable water is it more important because if the pressure of the house is uh, superior from the pressure of your system, what's gonna happen? Let's say your tank is at 50 and your pressure in the house is at 60, so you're gonna have water that will go inside the tank uh, that are not coming from the expansion of and that water will be stagnant in the system, in the tank, I mean. So you don't want any stagnant water in the tank. That stagnant water will be replaced every time there's gonna be expanded water coming in, but you're always going to have a, a certain amount of liquid that's going to be uh, stagnant in the tank. And the stagnation of water uh, permit like a, a growth of bacteria and uh, they're not really good to have. So valve is very important. When all this is done, you just turn the valve and uh, you, uh, you do, uh, you're able to lock this valve again so nobody plays with it. So you, uh, you take the screw out, you turn the handle and then you lock it in place. Uh, so nobody is going to be able to play with it. We, uh, we, have, uh, we have a regular uh, wall mounting bracket. So again, this goes on the wall and that could be installed directly on the wall and makes a nice job. Or we do have our new service center. Uh, the service center is made out of stainless steel. So our service center comes in uh, with the tank, with the valve. All this is sold separately, but we have the kit. And this is a stainless steel bracket. What you don't see on this bracket, but you will see on the picture, is we did the bracket with two opening of three quarter over here. So that's mean that the cold water coming out from the city comes in through the bracket, through that three quarter port, and the water goes to the house in the three quarter port also. Now, if there is any expanded water coming up from the water heater, the expanded water comes in, goes into the bracket, and will go inside the tank. So, and this bracket makes, uh, again, a very nice and clean installation. You just fix that on the wall with the service valve with the expansion tank.